Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the Hyped In Hypertext Fiction Authoring Tool. Hyped In was developed in the Department of Communication and New Media at the National University of Singapore. Hyped In is designed to allow non-programmers to create procedural hypertext fiction, which changes as the result of reader choice. Hyped In files consist of three main elements, nodes, links, and rules. Nodes are shown in the main window in the map view, and in the list view. Each node contains fragments of text which make up your story. A node can also contain a node rule and links. Links are attached to text and can contain rules. Rules are triggered when users click on the text. Rules can contain a number of conditions and actions. The actions are triggered when the user clicks on the text and the conditions are satisfied. We will now show several examples of using Hyptin to create some simple hypertext stories. In this example, we're going to create a simple version of the Red Riding Hood story which involves choice on the part of the reader. First, we create a few nodes. The start node contains the beginning of the story. In the second node, Red Riding Hood encounters the wolf. As you can see, I'm cheating by copying and pasting in my text so you don't have to see me type. Finally, we create two nodes for the ending of the story. One where Red speaks to the wolf and one where she actually manages to avoid getting eaten. So here's the first ending. And here's the second ending. Now that we've created the endings, we're going to put in the links. First, we have a single link which goes from the start node to the forest. We create a link. Inside the link, we create a rule. The rule will basically be fired when the user clicks on the link, and it will take us to the next node. We do that by adding a follow link to action and specify we'll follow the link to the forest. We can see our new link in the map view. Next, in the forest node, we want to add two links one to take us to ending one and one to take us to ending two. As before, we create a link, this one to ending one. We add a rule, and we add an action to the rule to take us to ending one. We can see the new link in the map view. Now we'll do the same for ending two. We create a link. We add a rule to the link name the rule, and add an action. This time the action takes us to ending 2. Finally, we must specify the start node so the hyped in knows where to start the story. Now we can run the story and see how it's turned out. So in the first node we have our link to the forest. Then in the second node we have two choices. We can either tell the wolf where we're going which leads to a sad ending, or we can be a little bit more street smart. What we've seen so far is the use of direct choices which change where the user goes in the story. Now we'll see how we can make use of a choice that the user makes earlier in the story, such as what type of character Red is, naive or street smart, and then have this impact what happens later in the story. If Red is naive, she tells the wolf where she's going, but if she's street smart, She'll avoid telling the wolf, and her and grandmother will be safe. We do this by making use of alternate text and additional rules. We create two links within the first node, one to choose the naive character, one to choose the street smart character. Each link contains three rules. The first rule is the one which lets us choose the character's personality. If both the naive link and the street smart link have not been followed, we simply jump back to the current node. The other two rules determine what will happen if either the street smart link has been followed, in which case we don't want to show the naive link anymore, or if the naive link itself has been followed, in which case we just want to display the text naive to show which character has been chosen. 
The forest link needs to be disabled until either the naive link or the street smart link has been followed. This will force the user to make a choice. Then in the forest node, we need to decide which text to show. We want to show I'm not supposed to talk to strangers if the street smart link has been followed. Otherwise, we'll show the default text, I'm off to see my sick grandmother. Similarly, for the end link, we want to either go to end one or go to end two, depending on the conditions. Note that here we're using the stop if true checkbox so that if the first rule is satisfied, we don't execute the second rule. This example has shown how HypedIn allows for more procedural change to hypertext stories, including changing text and having links followed conditionally based on previous actions. HypedIn also supports what's often called sculptural hypertext through the use of the Anywhere nodes and facts. Links to Anywhere nodes appear at the bottom of all other nodes as long as certain conditions are satisfied. For example, here we have pass the basket to grandma and head home, which appear only when it's appropriate for the story. The appearance of Anywhere nodes is determined based on a node rule, which very similar to a link rule allows you to set certain conditions. In this case, you can specify when a link to an Anywhere node will be available. This example also shows the use of facts, which allows you to keep track of state within the story, which can then be used later to make decisions. Hyped in stories can be exported to HTML and JavaScript and can be shared on the web. It's also possible to customize your CSS files for more visually appealing results, such as we can see in this example. Hyped in is freely available for download. More information about Hyped In can be found on the Hyped In website.